Welcome back to Rising Insights. I'm Rick Shantra, head coach, and today I get a chance to talk about somebody who's near and dear to my heart because he plays a lot like I did uh, back in my younger days, and that's A.J. Cochran. Um, A.J.'s big, strong, very good defender, very smart, positionally uh, one of the better defenders that I've seen. Uh, he played for Atlanta United last year, uh, got quite a few games with the Atlanta United 2 team, but A.J.'s been around. He's got some good experience. Uh, we feel very, very strong that hopefully he can, can turn into the next Peter Ramage and kind of be the leader uh, along with Joey and Amadou and, and some of our other defenders. Four goal performance from Bethlehem Steel tonight in a game that they will definitely remember the rest of the season. Sandoval, his foot. Corbin Bone will give it to Emory Welshman. Welshman one on one. Good tackle there. Cochran came in to break it up. It had to be perfectly timed. It's a good tackle. Olay. Stoppage time. Here we are. Charlotte and Atlanta. Oh, the header sent on. Hit the post. There are a couple moments that, that we saw on film of AJ that are that are very important. And the first being a time where uh, you'll see AJ picks up the ball kind of in the defensive third area. He takes a few touches as he dribbles forward and then, you know, hits this beautiful backspinning long left-footed ball to the right winger who's running onto it and gets in behind. It's very important because we want to play out of the back. We want to be able to knock the ball around. But having players that can play long passes um, accurately and being able to get in behind, you still have to be able to do that because the more that we play and the more we keep possession, the more teams will press and they'll have to be concerned about our speed behind and AJ gives us that opportunity. The second was a, was a defensive play um, that I was very impressed with. It, it was a through ball and you could see AJ was actually, it looked like he was in a covering position, uh, was by himself here. The ball gets played through and it looks as if the forward has him beat for pace, but coming across as a big man makes the tackle with his outside of his foot, get, steps up, keeps possession of the ball. As, as the other team is attacking, AJ is able to split the lines, very good pass into an attacking position, and starts the attack. Um, that's one of the things that I think for us we're most impressed with is AJ's ability to pass out of the back when he wins it. He's calm, he's cool, collected. You know, it's uh, it, a lot like the defenders that we already have and it really adds another dimension to our team. And last, when you've got a guy that's this size, he's 6'4", he's got a good frame, really strong, you, you hope that he's good in the air. And what we see is it's a corner kick, the ball is swung into the far post, and uh, AJ starts somewhere in the middle of the, of the penalty box, but he ends up running all the way to the back post and you know off balance, and, but, but very athletic, was able to get his head on the ball. He doesn't quite finish, it hits the post and comes out, but um, it's a good example of what AJ is going to be able to do for us. So I think with AJ and, and with Adam John and, and Kevon Lambert, it's going to be uh, you know, the Giants attacking our corner kicks again, and much like we had last year. So uh, I expect us to score a lot of goals from set pieces. But one of the things, like I said, I'm most important and excited about, and, and what's most important to me is the fact that AJ can play out of the back with his left foot and uh, it's going to make our team really dynamic.